is going to have a big impact on your grocery bill. The USDA released a report saying food prices could jump at least 3% next year. As KCAL 9's Brandon Ritterman tells us, that could mean an extra $250 for you to feed your family. We begin in the produce section. Anything that's harder to grow in a drought could end up costing more, but there's one item that's going to cause a lot more trouble than the rest, the humble ear of corn. Corn, as we see, has been hardest hit uh, from the drought. This year's corn crop is coming in about a third short of what's expected, and you should care even if you never buy an ear of corn to cook. Most people walk right by it when they're in the produce section, but this is king of your grocery store, and you can find it as an ingredient on every single aisle. To prove it, I pushed a cart down all the aisles and chose an item from each. We love our corn in America. The latest forecast from the USDA predicts overall food prices will go up 3 to 4% next year, and corn is one main reason. To the average American, it means $250 more next year if you buy the same things. Dairy products will cost more because the animals eat, you guessed it, corn. Corn is partly to blame for an expected jump in beef prices. Prices forecast to go up 4 to 5 percent. And if raising the price of your roast beef sandwich wasn't enough, corn could also mess with the cost of fueling your car. Federal rules require about a third of U.S. corn to be made into ethanol to be used as a component of gasoline. Corn prices were a lot lower and the thinking was there was a lot more efficiency with corn. But with corn getting more expensive, there's a growing call for the Obama administration to waive the federal rule this year. The only good news, higher priced corn doesn't guarantee you'll pay more for gas. Because you've got sort of world supply and demand. As for the food, you can stock up now to cushion the blow, but this corn crop is likely to hit food prices for at least the next year. Long term, most of us don't have big freezers like that. <laughs> Which means for most of us, it could just make next year's household budget a little bit tighter. All right, well, Rich is here.